All right, so this will be the upper extremity uh, nerves. Uh, we're going to start up around the brachial plexus. So the first thing you want to note is that um, at this level here, uh, we're going to have the trunk divisions. Down around this level here is where we're going to have the cord divisions. And down around this level here is where we're going to have the nerve divisions that we're going to look at. So if we start up on the trunks here, you want to find, again, you're going to start with subclavian artery. We're going to hold this down. And then we should see three things here above subclavian artery. And that's going to be the inferior trunk here, middle trunk there, and this is going to be the superior trunk up here. Now we can pull the trunks apart like this and really clearly see the anterior and posterior divisions of each one of these. So here we have the anterior division of the inferior trunk. There's a posterior division. Here we have the posterior division of the middle trunk, anterior division, and here we have the posterior division of the superior trunk, and there we have the anterior, anterior uh, division. So we can see that pretty clearly there. And then we follow those anterior and posterior divisions down to recombine into the cords, and we can see here that passing on this side of axillary arteries where we're going to have the medial cord passing on this side of axillary artery over here is where we're going to have the lateral cord and if we spread that stuff apart we can see that behind axillary artery here we're going to have the posterior cord so you can see that there now you can also do the cords by starting down a little further and holding up median nerve and if you follow median nerve proximally we can see that we have two divisions here forming median nerve and if we follow around the medial division here that's going to lead us right into the medial cord and if we follow the lateral division here it's going to lead us right into the lateral cord so you can get to it there as well and then once you've identified the medial and lateral cords right on either side of axillary artery we can take that stuff we can move it out of the way and then you see that posterior cord is behind again all right moving down a little bit we get down into the nerve divisions and here's where we want to hold up that characteristic m that we're going to find here. And we can see that M going up and down like that. And you're going to be holding the, the three more superficial nerves here, um, which is going to be musculocutaneous, which is going to be lateral. And the giveaway for that is it's going to go through coracobrachialis and then down into biceps and brachialis here. The middle division, so if we hold up the M again here, we go to the middle nerve here. And again, that's going to be your median nerve. Um, and the giveaway for this is that it's going to run down the um, right down the, the middle of the upper part of the arm and then if we move down into the forearm the next spot you're going to find median nerve is on the underside of flexor digitorum superficialis we flip that over and you can see the median nerve coursing underneath that and then the next spot you're going to find it down here going through the carpal tunnel coming out into the center of the palm is going to be median nerve again there we come back up to the M, move all the way back up here, starting here again. Now we're going to follow the medial branch here, which is going to be ulnar nerve. And we follow ulnar nerve down, we can see it there. We can see ulnar nerve coursing down here. It's going to go over the medial epicondyle of the humerus on this side, that'll be the funny bone. Then it's going to dive under some of the flexor muscles, and we're going to see ulnar nerve, if we move flexor carpi ulnaris out of the way here, we can see ulnar nerve right here coming from the medial side of the elbow and here it's going to come down and, and run together with the ulnar artery and vein. Come all the way back up to the M again here, okay, now that we've identified, let's just move that out of the way, now that we've identified the three more superficial ones, we're going to take those three and we're going to grab this stuff and move it out of the way. And now, back here we can see the divisions of the posterior cord. All right, so this one that I have here is going to be the axillary nerve. This is going to dive right down into the armpit. And it's actually going to go to the same place, you can see this a little bit here, um, as where the humeral circumflex arteries are going to go. Um, axillary artery is going to go to the same spot. Um, if we follow down radial artery, or I'm sorry, saying artery, nerve. If we follow down radial nerve, uh, a little bit further and we can see radial nerve again here. Radial nerve is going to dive deep at the same spot that deep brachial artery is going to go down and we're going to pick up radial nerve again over in the triceps. Uh, move this over here and if you see if we take 
here's the lateral head of triceps and we're going to open up the lateral head of triceps here and right down here we can see the radial nerve coursing through there. We follow this down a bit more distally and we take uh, brachioradialis and we move brachioradialis out of the way. Here we can see the radial nerve emerging here from underneath brachioradialis and you can follow this down towards the thumb side of the wrist.